I'm the lead grad student directing the project, along with my professor, of course. Zika virus is mosquito-borne. It's also blood-borne, and it can be sexually transmitted. This virus can have very damaging effects in pregnant women, specifically on the unborn fetus. It can cause diseases like microcephaly. This is a virus that has the potential to spread very quickly, which is why we need to curb its spread. Our lab is at Florida State University. Being in a subtropical climate spurred the rush for battling Zika infections since we could see the immediate threat. We're working with the National Institute of Health and John Hopkins University to screen huge libraries of compounds. I mean, we just screened 80,000. We're hoping to move quickly into clinical trials, and those can take one or two years to do. But that is a lot faster than typical drug development. One of the drugs is usually used to treat tapeworm infection. This drug is called niclosamide. Actually, I have a bottle of it. <laughs> so we need to find out if this compound can also be used to treat an infection that's through your whole body, rather than an infection that's just in your gut. I hope these drugs work and it can be a cheap, effective, accessible drug. We are pretty excited about this discovery. It shows we have a potential for finding cures for Zika sooner rather than later.